And that is at least better than nothing. Okay, so I think we're back. Can you guys give me a thumbs up if you still see the screen and my writing here and all that? Okay, cool. So energy gains, all right? We always wanna use the positive sign for an energy gain and energy losses, we always wanna use a negative sign, all right? Um, and I think I said yesterday in the little video, if you watched it, I always put this plus sign because then if I sort of, it, it seems redundant, but if I have an energy gain, let's say something gains 10 units of energy, I'm gonna add a positive 10 units, all right? Because that's just, I mean, I can see that that's really gonna be just a plus sign. And if it loses energy, I just want to emphasize that I am losing that energy. If something has some friction acting on it and it takes 50 joules of energy out, I really want to see that that is a loss. You know and I know that I could have just as easily written that as T, TEI minus 50 equals final energy. Okay? So that's really, that's sort of where we are with this stuff. Okay? Now, I gotta pause for a second because I need to get some water. You guys okay out there? Okay, so listen, let me go ahead and share with you the little lab activity that I have for us today. And it's actually pretty, it's, it's not scary at all. Um, you can, if you want, make your own video, or I'll show you in just a second, I've got a link to a video that I made for you. So you're just gonna go ahead and find a ball, all right? You're gonna hold it and you're gonna drop it. Now you know and I know that when I hold a ball up here, it's going to have a certain type or types of energy. I'm not gonna answer that for you because I think you know that. If I'm holding it still a certain height up, it's got a certain amount of energy, TEI. Ball drops, hits the ground, and I'm gonna call on somebody here. How about Leah Hill? Leah, are you with me there? Yeah. Okay, so once that ball hits the floor, is it going to bounce back to exactly the same height? No. No, never in our experience have we seen that because there's always a little bit of, what did we call that energy gain or energy loss term yesterday, Leah? What were we just talking about? Work. Work, yeah. So in this moment of impact, there's going to be a little bit of energy loss. So what we'll do is we'll see that, hey, the ball doesn't come back to the same height. So this would be a prime reason to think about this equation looking like this. And so the lab is really just asking you to find the amount of work done here. So I'm gonna stop sharing here and pop over to, hopefully that stop sharing, all right? And let's see here, if I go to Canvas, give me just a second, navigating all this stuff is a little bit tricky. All right, share screen. Oh boy, here we go, let's try this. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you see my Canvas page there. Cool. All right, so uh, the, the lab sheet itself is right here. It's the Lab 3 mini ball drop. That's the handout that we were just looking at. This is the, uh, if you don't wanna make your own video, you can totally just use this video. Do you hear that? Okay. So I'm gonna pause it. You guys can hear me still talking to you right now, correct? Okay, so you'll be able to watch this video and you can see that it starts out at a certain height up here. You can pull those values off of the Y axis right here. And so it starts out at a certain height hits the ground, definitely does not bounce back to the same height, and you can pull those data points off of the Y axis right here. So in essence, all I'm asking you to do is solve for the work. It's a pretty easy problem for today. Um, we have office hours between 10 and 11.30, so if you wanna play around with it and you have questions, you can drop back in, but I'm gonna stop sharing. And I'm gonna just check in with you guys, um, kind of go around the horn here and give you an opportunity to vent, uh, to share, to sort of let us know how everyone's going. I'm really glad to see as many of you guys as I am. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording because the lesson is sort of technically open.